welcome to this first look at DextOS 2.0. The GoPi Go is booted up already and the LED on the antenna is green, which means the robot is ready to be connected to. To connect to it, I need to change my computer's Wi-Fi connection and connect it to the GoPi Go. Once the connection is done, my browser will open up and bring me to the proper start page. This behavior is dependent on your own computer setup. For example, if you have a Mac, it will be slightly different, and you may have to enter the address yourself. The address to enter in your browser is mygopygo.com. DexterOS 2.0 introduces a radically different approach to Python in the classroom. So let's start up Python and see what's new. We've integrated JupyterLab and Jupyter Notebook to give you an enhanced Python 3 experience. You can start a new notebook here or start a Python 3 shell with the console. You also have access to a terminal and a text editor. But let's load up the first write around notebook by double clicking on it. This notebook will showcase a few of the things that one can do in JupyterLab. First, you can see that each notebook is a mix of text and code. The text serves explanations and only the code gets run. This particular notebook lets you drive the GoPago around, but I am not going into long explanations. First, we need to run the first cell, which loads up the required libraries. Click on the cell and press the Run button. Alternatively, you can press Shift-Enter. Nothing happens because loading up libraries doesn't trigger anything, even though it's an important Python step. So, let's go to the second code cell. A very brief explanation of the code here is that it will use a library called IPython widgets, which we will use to display buttons. Each button is attached to a method that controls the GoPyGo. I select the cell and click the Run icon at the top. It runs the code and displays some buttons that I can use to drive the GoPyGo around. Forward, left, right, backward, stop. That was a satisfying drive around. Enjoy DextOS 2.0.